Downloading apps to your Jitterbug Touch can be fun and exciting with so many different apps available from the Google Play Store. Let's not forget to mention that most of these apps are free to download. In this tutorial, we'll go over what an app is, the app categories from the Google Play Store, and how to find a free, paid, or popular app. Then we'll go over how to download an app. Before we begin, please make sure that you've logged on to your Google account on your phone. If you need help, please watch the How to Create a Google Account video or the How to Log On with an Existing Google Account video prior to watching this tutorial. It's also important to know that downloading an app will use data. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi, we highly recommend you do so for this tutorial. To download an app to your Jitterbug Touch, you must first access the Play Store from your phone. From the Home tab, tap All Apps. Scroll down the alphabetical apps list to find Play Store and tap once to open the app. If this is the first time you're logging in, you'll see the app categories on the top of the page. Apps, Games, movies and TV, music, books, and newsstand. You'll also see popular apps available below. Let's go over the categories. Apps are different applications you can download to your touch depending on your interests. Games have a variety of games you can download to your phone. These can be fun or helpful to pass the time. Movies and TV are movies and TV shows you can purchase or rent from the Play Store. Music will provide a variety of songs and albums from different genres you can purchase or download directly to your touch. Books will list a wide range of books from fiction, nonfiction, self-help, and more depending on your interests. And Newsstand provides apps you can download to help you keep up with current events. Now that we've covered all the categories, let's go over what an app is. An app is short for application. Similar to applications on your computer at home, apps on your phone launch an application by just tapping the icon. There are all kinds of apps. Some take you to different websites that are specifically designed to view on your phone. Go ahead and tap on the Apps category and you'll see the difference between a free and a paid app. You'll notice the various subcategories on the app screen. These subcategories will make it easier to find what you're looking for. The top paid subcategory is a list of the most popular paid apps based on how many downloads overall. These apps will indicate a price next to them and require a credit card on file to purchase and download. Top Free is a list of the most popular free apps based on how many downloads overall. These apps will indicate free and do not require a credit card on file to download. Top Grossing shows a list of apps that have made the most revenue. Some of these apps are free, but many require subscriptions. The top new paid subcategory is a list of new paid apps. Again, just like the top paid apps, these apps require a credit card on file to purchase and download. The top new free category is a list of new free apps. Similar to top free apps, you can download these apps for free. Tap Trending to see a list of apps that are recently becoming more popular. Now it's time to download an app. While in the Play Store, tap the magnifying glass button to initiate a search for a specific app. Tap the Search Google field and start typing the specific app you're looking for. As you type, you'll notice a list of recommendations below. If anything on the list matches what you're searching for, tap that line. 
The download screen will display and provide the following. A video tutorial for the app, if available, ratings and overall downloads, an app description, and if you keep scrolling, you'll see reviews for the app. This can be very helpful to see what your peers are saying about this app. Since the app is free to download, you'll notice the Install button next to the app logo. Tap Install to initiate the download to your device. Tapping Install will take you to the App Permissions page. The list of items on this page will vary depending on the app you're trying to download. Next, tap Accept to allow the application to have access to the items listed. Once you tap Accept, the download process will begin. You'll notice the animated arrow on your status notification bar indicating the download. You'll also notice the progress bar and the file size next to the app logo. If you wish to cancel the download at this time, you may do so by tapping on the X next to the progress bar or wait to complete the download. Once the download is complete, an open button and uninstall button will show in replacement of the install button. To open the app you just downloaded, tap open. Congratulations! You've now downloaded an app on your Jitterbug Touch. Check out our other how-to videos and click subscribe to see more videos from Great Call. What would you like to learn next? Tell us in the comments below.